Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate WooCommerce with Xero. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at WooCommerce.com or log in to our existing account. I've decided to show you the fastest way how we can make this uh, integration work because uh, we can't really make it through straight through WooCommerce so we will need help of third-party app. In our case uh, let's go to automate.eo uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video and once we are here let's go to the upper corner corner of our screen and click on integrations uh, once this pop-up window show up we want to go to the bottom left part and click on see all categories once we are in here uh, and uh, uh, we see all the integrations that we can make Let's go and let's start with writing our first application to integrate, which will be WooCommerce. Well, once we add WooCommerce, we want to go to the opposite side and uh, pick the counterpart, which will be Xero. As you can see straight away, uh, automate.eo is providing us with some popular integrations. Uh, that we can choose from. They are already pre-made it. And uh, yeah, if we won't be able to find the uh, the integration that we are looking for in those pre-made ones, uh, let's uh, keep scrolling down so you can get to create your own integration. Just remember, on the opposite side, uh, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with WooCommerce like this. Well, I'm going for first option. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go and you want to pick Xero. So I'm sticking to the first option. Now, all we have to do is click on try it now button. We'll get redirected to sign up page and you either uh, log in or register a new account at automate.io and you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use help of Zapier.com, which is a very similar app to Automate. All we have to do is create an account and head to the top left corner of our screen and create this app. Once we're in here, we want to start uh, with a trigger app, which is WooCommerce. Trigger an event. Uh, let's go with order as the first one. And now we have to sign in to our WooCommerce account. On the second action, as you probably guessed, we want to go with Xero. We want to pick the action event. Yeah, let's stick to the first option, continue. And now we have to log in to the Xero account as well. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.